Hi, and thanks again for tuning in to part two of the three-part uh, intro video series. Um, I just uh, wanted to reiterate how um, you know excited I am to be able to utilize um, the, the, your class for uh, my business, and in turn, um, you know anything I can do to provide more value to your uh, experience this semester. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll do so. Alex at electricbikesplus.com anytime. All right, so let's get right to the bikes. In essence, electric bikes are just regular bicycles with a battery and a motor. Of course, the, this is an onion because you, one layer, you just, there's so many layers to this thing. So many different brands of e-bikes, different configurations, different types of batteries, size of batteries, types of motors, locations of motors, integrations of pedaling, um, in addition to the various brands and all that stuff. Um, but this, the bike you're looking at here is called an MDF 500 by Midrive e-bikes. That's a childhood friends company of mine I mentioned in the previous video. Um, a bike like this retails for about $2,350 as it comes with a 48 volt, 14 amp hour Samsung cell that powers a 500 watt mid-drive torque sensor smart motor. We'll get into a little bit more of what that all means, but this bike will go about 28 miles an hour top speed up to 40, 45 miles on a charge with moderate pedaling and with the torque sensor mid-drive motor. It's such an integrated, incredible riding experience. It just makes you feel like you have bionic legs, you know? Um, you have to ride one. I was hoping to be able to bring a couple of these into the class, but we'll figure it all out at some point. Um, so just a quick rundown on some of the major points on e-bikes. Standard bikes with a battery and a motor. Um, what is the most common uh, e-bike in the commercial space that you see online from companies like Rad Power Bikes and Pedego more locally are typically class two bikes. And class two bikes is defined by the fact that you have the option to pedal like a regular bicycle, uh, use a throttle where you don't pedal and just have the battery power the motor uh, and, 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 and propel you that way, or where the where really the beauty of e-bikes happens and what kind of differentiates a good e-bike with a regular or, or, or just kind of a starter e-bike is the pedal assist or pedelec um, as it's referred to when you're, you're pedaling and utilizing the power at the same time. That is really to me anyway, and I think most people agree where the beauty of a good e-bike uh, happens. Most of the bikes utilize either a 36 or 48 volt battery, and those um, will get you between 30 to 50 miles on a charge with moderate pedaling, but that is dependent upon the motor as well, among some other factors. But th these motors are typically 350 watt, 500, and 750 watt motors. Um, which is really more about the speed, but they, as they work in conjunction together, they, uh, the, the distance and the speed uh, do uh, moderately affect how the bikes work. In addition to the weight of the bike, the weight of the rider, the, the incline or decline you're riding on as well as wind. I mean, normal physics are in place and we're, we're only talking about 75, you know, 650 to 70 pound uh, bikes typically. So, um, you know, those types of of normal conditions, wind and slope can really affect uh, some of the metrics and the measurements. Bikes range from $500 from your Walmart special to $10,000 for a fancy Buell or Stromer bike, um, custom kind of uh, configurations and, and um, carbon fiber frames, fancy new technology in the motors and things like this. But a typical bike's around $1,500 to $2,000. Uh, here you're seeing kind of a common configurations of the batteries. Um, here you're seeing the two really different motors. The rear hub motor is the most common, those two in the middle. Those are Buffon rear 
rear hub motors, those are the most common in the space. The two outside images are uh, examples of center hub motors. Now over to my store, this is kind of, uh, that's what you see when you drive up to the celebration entrance at the Festival Marketplace in Pompano. And when you walk over to my uh, kiosk, um, you'll see kind of the bike spread out um, uh, during the day. And then that's how I, I kind of lock them up at night. Um, here's my, uh, my new uh, robust website, electricbikesplus.com. Um, well, this is definitely going to be a key aspect of the semester uh, as all things kind of flow through the website and the Google My Business section, um, among other stuff. Here's just an example of one of the bikes I have on the floor. This is from a, electric motion, a green bike electric motion based out of California. I'm not to be confused with Green Bike USA here in Fort Lauderdale. This particular bike is a fat tire configuration. They're very common in the space. This one has a 48 volt, 11.6 amp hour cell that powers a 750 watt rear hub brushless Buffon motor. It retails, it does have hydraulic disc brakes. As you can see, it has fork suspension, uh, front fork suspension. Uh, it's a very comfortable ride. It's a little torquey. Um, but it's a it's a popular e-bike, a fun e-bike. It retails for about $2,100. Uh, here's just a couple examples of two different folding configurations I have on the floor. The one on the left is the other, another brand. Actually, my main brand, along with the mid-drive brand, is a Mojo. Uh, a Mojo makes these beautiful bikes. Um, they're just very sleek looking, very comfortable. And a Mojo has great personnel. They're based out of Southern California, very helpful. I, I love working with them. And then my flagship bikes, um, that's a mid-drive uh, folding bike, kind of an odd configuration. But uh, the mid-drives, as I mentioned, are my preferred uh, pedaling system. Uh, here's just a couple of uh, more examples of a Mojo. The, the one on the left is their newest release, the a Mojo Hurricane, just a beautiful bike. You can read more about it on the website. Uh, here's an example of Kenny of the mid-drive leading selling bike. People ask, is this a ladies bike? In the e-bike space, we kind of call it a step through. A lot of older people like e-bikes, so we, we, we don't dig in too much, whether it's a man or a ladies bike. Uh, I'll leave that to you guys. But it's a lot of fun. It's easy off and on. It's got an upright ride. Uh, and the mid-drive pedaling system is really just second to none. Um, then I have an affiliation with Richard at All Bicycles in Deerfield Beach. He is a, kind of a unicorn in that he's both an expert e-bike mechanic as well as a regular bike guy. So we have him and he's an intricate part of my business and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, give you a quick run, I, well eight plus minutes, not so quick, but a lot of information there about the bikes, about my store and website. Any questions, it's alex at electricbikesplus.com, but video three will, will be where we start to dig in a little bit on my needs, wants, pain points, and such. So I'll see you on the next uh, video. Thanks so much again.